Hello and good morning, MYM Insiders. How are you doing today? This is Rich Harshaw. We're here for our strategic marketing webinar. And this is an interesting little webinar called 100 Power Statements, as you can clearly see on your screen. Uh, this, is, this is an interesting <clears throat> webinar. It's going to be quite a bit different than some we've done in the past, where I'm going to really just go through a bunch of power statements. It's about 100 to be more specific. So uh, not a lot of what I'd call structure in terms of, hey, here's a principle we're going to learn. Here's you know, an ex explanation of the principle. Here's a, an example of the principle. This is really just trying to show you some power statements. You know, the, the reality is this. It's a big part of winning in marketing is having confidence in what you say so that people hear it and they believe it. When you believe, when you communicate with power, you become more believable, more credible. You stand out from the crowd, more memorable, more attractive, not uh, like a romantically attractive, but you know, people are attracted to people that have power. Allows you to showcase authority and power. Again, a lot of times these words uh, have a different connotation than what I'm trying to communicate here. Words like authority, power, and attractive uh, may bring up the wrong impression. Here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to project trust, confidence, authority, power, so that people hear it, they see it, they read it, and they say, okay, this is the kind of person, this is the kind of company that I'd like to do business with, okay? So some of the elements that we can use in terms of uh, power statements, we can communicate new information, something that's unexpected. There's something called doubt words that I'll show you as we go through this quotation marks is a good way to utilize uh, the element of skepticism. And I'll, I'll give you examples of all these as we go through them. Elevators, elevating the attitude, using high levels of specificity, authority, piled benefits where we add a benefit, another benefit, another benefit. It's called a piled benefit. Straight talk, telling people how it is. High impact words. Uh, again, I will point these things out as we go through this, but just want to give you an idea. You may want to, like it says, write these down so you can be looking at some of these as we go through and making notes. Interesting words, unusual words, words that catch people's attention. Sarcasm can be a useful effect in talking with power. Absolute, taking stands, saying things in a way that makes people realize that you mean what you're saying. I mean, a consumer advocate, contrasting words. Again, examples of all of these forthcoming. Emotional intensity, high, drawing a line in the sand. Emasculation, now this is one that probably should be used with a little bit of, of uh, uh, discretion, but uh, I will show you an example of these as we go through this. Speaking with power. Acknowledging, also acknowledging concerns, ideas like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go through, let's see, about, uh, well, I guess about five, power statements on 20 slides. We'll go through a few that are uh, related to a lot of our um, customers now, which is remodeling. We'll also, I think, handle some other service industries, HVAC, plumbing, things like that maybe, but also just some other things that uh, I've dealt with over the years that you can get an idea for, okay? So <clears throat> without further ado, what I'm gonna do is just read these and then uh, I'll make some commentary as we go. And I won't make some commentary on some as we go, and we'll just kind of blast through these. really won't take that long to go through 100 power statements. This is a good one. I could honestly care less if you have a bid, have three bids lower than mine, uh, projecting the ultimate confidence, right? It's a price, it's a price conditioning kind of a statement. 90% off all replacement windows for sale, of all replacement windows for sale are an absolute ripoff. The words pain, agony, and hostage don't have to apply to bathroom remodeling anymore. And this brings up, people would try to, they would try to match up in their mind, well, bathroom remodeling and pain, agony, and hostage, what would that mean? And you think of being a hostage in your own home. You can't use your bathroom for weeks on end, pain, the agony of that. And it brings some very interesting mental kinds of images to the prospect's mind. We're faster than the rest, like six weeks faster. Let's face it, window salesmen are the worst consumer advocate, right? Are you anxious to get the job done or are you anxious to get the job done right? If you're not thrilled with the results, don't come crying to me because there's a 0% chance I did the job. 
It's a little bit of an emasculation of the competition. I shut down the job site and discussed, ripped up the entire floor and started over again from scratch. Power words, discussed. How to turn your $40,000 dream kitchen into a $57,000 disaster. Power words. I was shocked and embarrassed when I found out contractors were number, America's number one most complained about industry. Again, this is a great example of using the um, consumer advocate approach. I'm on your side. We're together fighting against this industry that could cause you pain, agony, frustration, and suffering if you're not careful. I'll help, uh, help you walk through it unscathed. We are not the fastest. We are not the cheapest. Our last BBB complaint was never power, right? We've won every, we've won every remodeling award that matters. <coughs> there are 500 willing and able contractors on standby ready to build you a standard issue kitchen. What makes this statement powerful is the word standard issue. To build you a standard issue kitchen, obviously that would uh, indicate that we build something that is above and beyond and more glorious than standard issue. If you want a conservative, traditional kitchen remodeling job, absolutely do not call us. And I think one more for remodeling here. Ordinary, everyday, tame, tired, mundane, same old, same old kitchens bore us to tears. This is a fun little trick that you can use in a headline where you use sort of a bunch of synonyms to really pile on, not the benefits in this case, but the uh, emotional intensity that you're trying to communicate through to the prospect. Ordinary, everyday, tame, tired, mundane, same old, same old kitchen, bore us to tears, <laughs> which would indicate what? We don't build those kinds of kitchens. As far as I know, I'm the only remodeler since 1901 who's copper plated a kitchen ceiling. An interesting way to highlight some unique abilities that this guy has. Abhorring traditional kitchen remodeling jobs since 1998. Now, this is strongly putting yourself, this is that drawing a line in the sand. <laughs> we don't do the normal thing. We're the only roofer in Atlanta who insists on using unbiased, impartial inspectors to determine what your roof really needs. So this is bringing an objection that people don't even know to make to the forefront, shining a spotlight on it, and ostensibly and potentially and hopefully, likely, making your competitors look bad without saying, hey, our competitors suck. But here's what we're really saying, right? Our competitors probably maybe do use biased and partial inspectors to determine what your roof needs according to them, to their benefit, right? Choose a roofer that strictly adheres to the following three standards. Keyword strictly, it's bolded, it's in uh, all capital letters. Next, let's switch to pain relief massage. Feel-good massage and pain relief massage are not the same thing. This comes from a client that we had one time that had pain relief massage and they were talking about pain relief, pain relief, pain relief, and they never really took the time to educate what the difference was until you got into some of the finer bullet points in text. We wanted to educate and bring it out in the beginning part of the uh, message. 95% of massage therapists can give you a feel-good back massage that won't actually do anything to solve your back pain, which indicates what? We actually do do something that will actually solve your back pain. If you think a feel-good massage is going to really help your back pain, you're wasting your money and fooling yourself. This is kind of a challenge to the reader, putting it in their face a little bit and uh, kind of getting up into their face and challenging them and seeing how they react. Maybe they'll react by saying, hey, to heck with you, but maybe they'll say, well, you know, tell me some, tell me more. How to give a massage that has actual therapeutic benefit to actually ease back pain. The word actual has been used twice, actual and actually. And this would indicate, this is sort of an emasculation type of uh, approach towards other competitors. It's actually therapeutic. It's actually going to ease your back pain as opposed to what you're probably wasting money on. The worst thing you can do for back pain is get a feel-good back massage. This is something that's unexpected, right? Geez, what do you mean? Uh, isn't that what I want? And the answer is, no, not really. Okay. Next, condo development. For $300 to $500 less per month, you could own your own condo that's newer, nicer, and more efficient. Price effectiveness there. There's simply no excuse for wasting money on rent anymore. If you could get a newer, better apartment for $300 less and build equity, why would you not do it? This is your wake-up call to quit wasting money on rent and start building equity right now. So in other words, we're trying to convince people to go into the same apartment or similar apartments to what they would get anyway 
but it's going to be less money and of course it's going to build them some equity cat truck billboards now cat doesn't mean like you know a cat and dog meow meow raining cats it's a caterpillar okay this is one of our former clients they sold cat trucks and we wanted to really come out with some bold words for cat trucks that would back up the fact and the the idea that these were bold, strong, powerful trucks, now dominating the vocational truck market. Now, that's a little bit of a play on words you may not realize, given that these trucks were relatively new. They already dominate the heavy equipment market. Now, so this is new, dominating, keyword, dominating, right, the vocational truck market. <laughs> Baddest trucks on the road. You just see these on a billboard, right? Short word, short, uh, short sentences. Cat now makes vocational trucks. Horrible news for all the other manufacturers. Never settle for less than Cat. Again, our new work trucks can beat up your work trucks. Being a little bit playful and fun, but still effective. When you're serious about your vocational trucks, switch to Cat. Indicating what? It's a little, again, a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of an emasculation. <clears throat> Variable speed pool pumps. Your pool pump uses more electricity than your fridge, your washing machine, and your dishwasher combined. Variable speed pump is a pump that ostensibly, we can tell just by looking at this, uses less electricity. Your pool pump is using 30-year-old technology that is absolutely wasting $600 to $1,600 a year in electricity. Well, geez, what if the new pump costs $1,200? That would be worth it in anywhere from, from uh, a half or I guess three quarters of a year to two years. Your pool pump is absolutely wasting you money 364, 364 and a half days a year. The guaranteed stupidest way to absolutely squander $1,000 this year. Jeez, I mean, look at the interesting words in there. Guaranteed stupidest. That's an interesting way to use the word stupid. Stupidest. Absolutely squander. What a great word, squander. The power word. It's got emotional intensity, right? I'm not saying you're stupid. But you will be if you read this and don't take immediate action. Now, again, this is not necessarily for every situation for all products or companies. But I like this. I'm not saying you're stupid, but you will be if you read this and don't take immediate action. And then we explain to them, here's what a regular pump is. Here's what our pump is. Here's how much electricity that one uses. Here's how much this one uses. Here's why ours uses so much less and is still effective at uh, acting as a pump for your pool. And here's how much ours costs relative to the money you would save. Why would you not immediately switch this out? Doesn't make any sense. All right. I can absolutely guarantee this is sort of a free style way to write powerful headlines. I can absolutely guarantee that Austin's real estate market has already hit rock bottom. I can absolutely guarantee that your website is under leverage, not converting and losing you money every single minute of every single day. Uh, I like this uh, redundancy of every single minute of every single day, but there's also other good things in there. Whoops. I can absolutely guarantee your feel-good massage is both wasting your money and actually making your back worse. I can absolutely guarantee your child will improve her math scores by two-letter grades. I can absolutely guarantee your horse will sit unsold for six months or more if you hire the wrong agent. Yeah, I've had a client before that was selling horses. All right, HVAC service, let's get powerful here. Apparently it doesn't matter which AC repair company you choose. If you're into arm twisting, high pressure, and coercion, we're not your AC company. We're the only company in Georgia with an ironclad, no fine print, treat you like a brother, money back guarantee. We probably need a comment after the word brother there. Not only are our technici technicians background checked and drug tested, they're also devoid of visible tattoos, freaky hairdos, unkempt facial hair, and creepy piercings. Now, you've got to be careful with this kind of stuff. I ran an ad on the radio that talked about these kind of things, and uh, I'm telling you, we actually mentioned the word ponytail and the word tattoos, and the ponytail crowd and the visible tattoo crowd is quite vocal and uh, was not appreciative of those types of things, so we had to pull those out. So you've got to be a little careful with this. If we're even one minute late, your entire service call is 100% free. Powerful. Mortgage company, believe it or not, the interest rate is only the third most important thing to consider when getting a loan, which obviously automatically spurs the thought, well, I wonder what the first and second most important things are. It's a chance to educate. It's bringing something to light that people did not realize. 
Oh, gosh. I didn't realize, but uh, we're not showing these on the screen. Oh, well, now we are. <laughs> if, you, if you're not careful, huge fake fees or bind, and binding terms could absolutely bury you. Mortgage company, yes, the fine print in your cheap mortgage contract will kill you. Five ways mortgage companies get suckers like you to think you're getting a deal when you're actually being raked over the coals. Again, this is that sort of powerful language. You're getting a good deal when you're actually being raked over the coals. This is a consumer advocate helping people understand you know, how you're different, how you're better, and really sticking it to the competitors. You got to be careful with that, but in many cases, it's uh, interesting and worthwhile. Just because a fee exists doesn't mean it's legitimate and you should pay it. Okay, we're talking about fake fees, right? We talked about fake fees up here in the second one, and now fake fees again. All right, now a relisting realtor. So your house was listed, it didn't sell, now they want you to relist. The reason your home didn't sell is simple. Not enough people even knew it existed. I'm sure you've received 20 to 40 mailers telling you this realtor or that one knows the secret of selling your home, which is true. If you ever uh, sell your house and list it and it doesn't sell, you will get deluged with mails and phone calls from realtors trying to get the relisting. The real reason your home didn't sell is your realtor didn't know jack about marketing. Pretty much of a, you know, that's a, that's them fighting words there. Slow market and down economy have nothing to do with the real reason your home didn't sell. I can absolutely guarantee the reason your home didn't sell has 100% to do with your realtor, not with the down market. Okay, so we're putting the realtor in the crosshairs. A lot of realtors wouldn't be willing to do that, but I know some that would. They're the ones that uh, hate the way that the industry works. I will shop every single carrier for you and give you the absolute rock bottom price, and I'll do it all in less than four seconds. Geico will give you one rate. Progressive will give you will let you choose from four. I'll give you 127 and flat guarantee one of, one of mine will be the lowest. As an independent agent, I'm not bound to a single carrier. I've accessed over 200 rates from 200 companies. It's incomprehensible that a company with access to just one rate can claim lower prices than one with access to 127 rates. I love this word incomprehensible. It's just interesting. It's unusual. It's not, it's not a word that you see a lot in advertising, but it's powerful and it's self-evident. Neat. All right, next, business accountant. You don't want creative accounting. You want a CPA who owns the tax code and is willing to grind every last penny out of it for you. Look at that. Grind every last penny out of it for you. That is awesome. I, mean, <laughs> I love this headline. I wish I were a business accountant just so I could use this headline. There are 24,400 pages of tax code applicable to small business. I've read all 24,400 pages twice this year. Wow. I don't do creative accounting. It's hard to sell clients who, it's hard to sell to clients who are in jail. So we're kind of taking this creative accounting slant and making it look really bad. By the way, we've got creative accounting. Remember I talked about quotation marks. It puts doubt and skepticism into the mind of the prospect who's reading it. In 32 years, I've had 21 of my 2,000 plus clients audited. The IRS dropped the case in all 21 times in less than two hours. Do, 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 I can't even talk. Do, 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 do the clients of this company get audited? The answer is not really is the point, right? Audit proofing your business, not with wimpy accounting, but by absolutely owning the tax code. I like that idea of owning the tax code. We used it twice there, right? Copy your sales and service. All copiers are the same. It's about like saying all cars are the same. Trust me, they're not. I personally put 140 brands of copiers through the ringer to discover which ones are junk, which ones are actually look good but then suck, and which ones you actually want. What a great way to say it. Which ones are junk, which ones look good but then suck. What a great distinction to make because this is what people are thinking Maybe not in their brain, but when you say it, it resonates instantly and automatically. All right, I'm going to do a quick little uh, technical upgrade here. And I don't think it made a difference. All right, back to the webinar. All right, the only copier company that actually provides the sledgehammer to destroy your copier when it breaks down and pisses you off. Think about that for a minute. We're going to bring a sledgehammer in and let you destroy your copier. 
wouldn't that be fun? I would love to see this on YouTube. And then you could go in, you could film it every time. You hand them the sledgehammer, you give them protective goggles and coverings, whatever. You let them go to town and beat the crap out of that thing. Interesting concept. I wish I were in the copier sales and service business just so I could do that. I'm the only copier salesperson who's actually pushed a copier off a cliff after I beat it into a pulp with a baseball bat. Are you interested in meeting this copier salesperson? We're, we're voicing the frustrations that people have with their copiers. Wouldn't you love to see the video of the guy pushing a copier off a cliff? Can you imagine getting the email that says, watch this video of me pushing a copier off a cliff? All you've got to do is find a copier, find a cliff, have an iPhone handy with a video, and push it off. How great is this? This is fantastic. I love this. I love it. It's awesome. I'm going to go into the copier business so I can do this. Interesting. Wow. Bank. We'll tell you before you bounce a check instead of hiding behind a cowardly policy designed to squeeze more fees out of you. Again, consumer advocate. Most banks are going to do what? They're going to tell you after you bounce a check, and they're going to have a cowardly policy that's designed to squeeze fees out of you. Our bank is open after work when it's actually convenient for you. We trust you so much that we don't even chain our pens to the tables. Next time your bank claims to be small business friendly, ask the banker exactly what that means and exactly what they've done for your small business. And they won't be able to say it. We don't just claim to be a community bank. We've actually donated $72,400 and 840 volunteer hours right here in South Lake since 2009. That's pretty impressive. Plumber, we pay you $5 for every minute we're late. I have no idea why plumbers think it's okay to waste your entire afternoon waiting for them to show up. The stereotype of plumbers with butt cracks hanging out who force you to wait around all day for them to show up is true. We fine our plumbers $100 at their crack shows. After three offenses, we fire them. <laughs> oh, hey, man, talking about butt cracks will get people to pay attention. If we're late, your service call is 100% free. No fine print, no excuses, just free. Okay, and I think that's it. it was, like I said, this is going to be quick and easy and just kind of uh, a little bit fun. Let me see if I've got anything else for you here. I think we I think we pounded through a hundred of these things. Let's see. Yep, that's it. So hey, thanks for getting on. This is a quick little short webinar, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, you know, here's the idea. Let me go back to something from earlier. Let's see if I can find this real quick. Do do do. Hang on, we're coming. Excuse me. All right, here we go. This is what we're looking for here. Hopefully you wrote these down. If you didn't, write them down now. New information, unexpected, doubt words, quotation marks, elevators, specificity, authority, piled on benefits, straight talk, high impact words, interesting, unusual words, sarcasm, absolute, taking a stand, consumer advocate, Contrasting words, emotional intensity, drawing a line, emasculation, and acknowledging. Okay, so that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Hopefully that was of value to you, and uh, it will improve your writing. And we'll, you know what, we'll be back with you, uh, I'm not sure when. I have to check my calendar. I think we're off next week. I'll be out of town, so we'll talk to you uh, the week after that. Thanks so much. See you later.